So today we are going to be talking about, if the t-shirt doesn't give it away, how I got into CrossFit. This is a question I get asked a lot both on Instagram, on the internet in general, as well as in my personal life. I have most definitely drunk the Kool-Aid, as they say, and I also describe it as like one portion of my personality. So it's understandable that I guess asked so many times. But Luce, how did you get into CrossFit? And on that note, folks, I did uh, bring my laptop to join the conversation. So if I do keep glancing down, that is because I am looking at the notes I made about how I got into the seemingly intimidating and almost uninviting world of CrossFit. But I'm here to tell you that that is not true. CrossFit is probably one of the most inviting, welcoming, supportive, empowering, wonderful communities I've ever been a part of. And I'm not just saying that, but a little bit about my background with sports and fitness. I have always been sporty growing up. I was captain of girls games in school. I was a rower. I was a swimmer. I did athletics, netball, all those fun things. And so I've always been like a little gym bunny as well in my adult life. So I was on the interwebs one day and I... I was kind of heard about CrossFit in the same way everyone has sort of heard about CrossFit and I was like what is this? I was literally like what is this? Why are people like running around and then lying on the floor dying after working out? Like what is this? Kind of sparked my interest because I'm one of those crazy people that likes really pushing myself in workouts and whatnot. So I was living in Orlando, Florida at the time on my cultural representative program with Epcot Ultra Tide UK Pavilion. And I saw this advert for a CrossFit box called Mousetrap, which is based in Lake Buena Vista, Florida, which is literally like 15 minutes or about a mile and a half away from where I was living in Orlando. So they had like a little leave your details if you're interested in coming along for a free session. So obviously little old me, I was like, oh, a free fitness session, why not? So I signed up. And I was so apprehensive to go to my first session. But let me tell you, do your research and find a box as welcoming as Mousetrap. Because honestly, the head coach there at the time was a fella named Joe. He was so, so, so lovely. He honestly called me up like three separate times being like, you coming down today? You coming down today? Um, the nature of my work, if I said that I could go in the evening and then because I was a waitress, I would sometimes run over, like I'd never know when I'd finish a shift, it would say 5pm on my schedule, but it could be any time. So I had to cancel on Joe twice already. And by the third time he called, I was like, do you know what? I'm doing it. No, no excuses. We're going to our first CrossFit session. Yeah, I went in. Most people can remember their first wads, uh, which is like workout of the day. They speak in a lot of like acronyms, but as you get into CrossFit, you slowly understand and then you start speaking in yourself and you're like, Beep. so my first workout of the day, um, just to like as a buy-in, which is like just to then take part in the workout we did. So essentially, I guess a warm up. Um, we did all our mobility. We did like, you know, putting up a heart rate, things like that. And then we did. 10 60 second all out on the assault bike all out for calories and the aim we were in like an endurance phase of like they do eight and six week training programs and we were in an eight week endurance phase when i joined in and the aim was to make sure that you hit roughly the same amount of calories every time you did a 60 second burst on the assault bike so i think oh my gosh i can even remember because i I'd never even gotten an assault bike before. So I was like, what is this? Cause you're like pumping with your arms, pumping with your legs. And it's like, I'm a gangly human. So that didn't really, um, I probably didn't look very poised, but I did that. And then we went into the um, wad of, it was squats and thrusters and run 800 meters. It was, it was amazing. And I remember just like dying on those first, uh, one minute on the assault bikes, we were swapping out with a buddy, but oh, that was it. I was in. I was in like that was literally all it took was me basically killing myself on an assault bike. So that's how I got in. And it honestly, 
I wouldn't still be at Mousetrap every time I go to Orlando if it wasn't for the coaches and Joe and Doug and Coach Sam and all those lovely humans there. I met some in incredible, amazing people and we all just built each other up. We all just cheered each other on. I think the most wonderful thing about CrossFit is that in the communities, things like high fives, fist bumps, like you just find out like what someone's name is and like in the middle of the workout, you'll just start cheering them on. And I just love stuff like that. I think it's really um, a sense of camaraderie. So I have always been into like team sports and things like that, apart from my swimming days. But I just truly love the like community aspect of it. And I think that will definitely, if you find a good box, you will have the same experience. And that leads me on to tip number one. Double check that, that's actually what I wrote down. So I suggest you really do do your research. It can be rather intimidating walking to a new gym anyway, let alone something like CrossFit if you've never done it before. So definitely do do your research, look around your local area, find places that do maybe a foundations course, find places that might offer even a one-time free session so you can like test the waters, see what the community likes, see what the box itself is like. Um, some boxes are literally a garage like warehouse. Some are super bougie with like changing rooms and hair dryers and body shower gels. Oh, they're good, they're good gyms too. So honestly, do just shop around, go to a few different boxes see which one takes your fancy. Uh, number two, reiterating that point, do try and find a box that does like a foundations course, especially if you're coming from a background of absolutely no sort of sport related things since perhaps you did stuff in high school and you haven't really done stuff since. A foundations course is an absolutely amazing way to slowly tiptoe your way into the world of CrossFit. they will talk you through things like all of the correct uh, postures, they'll look at your mobility, they'll look at your uh, strength, things like that, and they'll ease you into it at the same time as well as sort of teaching you the lingo and teaching you all the kind of basic compound movements that encompass this whole functional movement. Oh, wonderfulness, love that. My third tip, I don't know if I'm actually counting, but my third tip would be to have some sort of um, confidence slash proficiency with free weights. A lot of the time, um, especially I found moving from like going to, you know, doing sports school to being in my adult life, just going to the gym. I used a lot of just machine based activities and exercises. And um, that was sort of where I got my weights from. Whereas CrossFit is mainly uh, like free weights, barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, things like that, as well as encompassing, uh, encompassing a lot of body weight movements as well. So do just have some sort of grasp or understanding of that before you head into your first session even if you are even going to a foundation session it is good to just you know rejog your memory and just have the um sort of base knowledge of free weights and just body weight movements my fourth tip for getting into crossfit would to be as hard as you want to go I would ease into it with maybe two or three sessions a week as you are slowly finding the way your body reacts to uh, such varied and sometimes quite intense exercises. You don't want to go all in and burn yourself out. So do just slowly, you know, build up your classes. I went in and was like five classes a week. I'm going to go absolutely mental. And it did kind of like at first my body was like, what are you doing? but now I do like maybe three sessions a week and I find that's just because CrossFit is all about functional movements and like lifelong exercise so if you just slowly build your way up you are more likely to stick to it commit to it have a more enjoyable experience my fifth tip I don't know if I'm up to five if I've counted wrong oh god my fifth tip would be to um Look at all the endless goals you can have with CrossFit. That is one thing that I absolutely love. There are so many movements, so many different workouts, so many different timed things and different weight PRs you can hit. Like, it will keep you coming back for more. So again, don't compare yourself to the other people when you walk in. Be age old, don't compare your page one to someone's page 365. So because there are just so many goals, 
and workouts that you can work towards and achieve. Just be patient with yourself. Okay. But in the six, I don't know. You could walk in, like I came from a rowing background, so any workout with a rower, I was like, here we go. On the same sort of note as that, in terms of there are lots of uh, different workouts you can go to, leave your ego at the door, leave all that, you know, attitude, mindset, just go in there, work out with a group of like-minded people for an hour, get your sweat on, lift some weights, put them down again, run, jump, climb trees, all that fun stuff. And for example, for me, some workouts, I was like, what am I doing? I have a six foot lanky human. You want me to do a burpee where I have to get all the way down to the floor and then all the way back up again. By the time I'm down to the floor, some little like nippy five foot Joey kangaroo's gone up and down 10 times. So again, leave your ego at the door, leave your humility at the door. We're all just there trying to get our sweat on and get a good workout. But then I'm not gonna lie, anything with like the running and the rowing on a, um, an ergo or a rower, as some people call it, I was, I was ready for those. I was like, bring it on. I know I've smashed, uh, I could smash some 2Ks on that rower because of my background in rowing. So again, you just go in there, ready to have a good time no pressure on yourself. We're all just there to work out and have a good time. So, number seven. I don't know if this is actually number seven. Number seven. In terms of the stigma attached to, oh, you do CrossFit, you're gonna get injured. Um, I don't believe, if you have truly done your research and found a good box, they will ease you into it. The coaches will walk around and watch you as an athlete and they will see if you're lifted too heavy, they'll let you know. If you're doing the movement wrong, they'll let you know. Again, that's another thing. You've, le you've left your ego at the door. You're just there to get in a good workout. You will be corrected on things. You will be corrected on standards, movement standards, and making sure you are doing things in a safe, efficient way to promote lifelong commitment to the sport and to functional movement of your body. So in the same vein, you could say anyone that goes gung-ho into any new sport or exercise they could hurt themselves too but you have to be patient with yourself patient with your coach and with the workouts and just ease yourself into it don't go too heavy don't go too hard don't go too fast you'll find the sweet spot and then after a while you'll know your limits and it's just french kiss for man it's love it and finally i don't know finally my favorite thing about crossfit is that you have a coach and you are an athlete. So many people, as you grow up, and you just go to the gym, or you get a trainer, and you just feel like you're a, you know, you're a guest, you're a paying customer, and they're your trainer. But this, you are an athlete and you have a coach. It doesn't matter if you literally walk in and you do the workout scale, you do the workout RX, RX plus, all that stuff, you are an athlete. I literally, I've been doing CrossFit for four years. After my first workout, I consider myself an athlete, but there are some movements I just, I'm still waiting to crack. And that's the brilliant thing about CrossFit. You will have movements that you can work towards forever and ever, but I am an athlete. You are an athlete. If you are moving your body in a great way, joyful movement, you are an athlete. So I love that aspect of CrossFit, that you are an athlete with a coach, and then you can compete, you can not compete, you can just do it as your Sunday morning before you go to brunch, you can do it as your after work, blowing off some steam, you can do it as your Monday morning, let's grab this week by the barbells, and yeah, it's just honestly part of life now, and I think that hopefully I've broken that down, and I've not waffled too much, that's what editing's for, my eight, I think, tips on how to get into CrossFit. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. This is part of my Lucy Ship Shape brand slash personal, personal training journey. It would help if I could say the career I'm hoping to go into. But this has been Lucy Ship Shape on how to get into CrossFit.